Okay, you can see to start off with that we've got three pictures of elements, uh, pictures from around Dorset or around Purbeck, and we've got three text boxes. You can see the objects that have been created in the object list there, and they're all labelled up quite carefully. So you've got Swanage text, Dirtle Door text, and the pictures and so on. The trick is to be able to, the plan is to be able to pick up the text, drop it onto the correct picture, and when you do so, the both the image and the... Um, both the image and the text disappears. Now, the first thing that you've got to do is make the draggable objects drag and drop. So, you click on Swanage first, the events for Swanage are, for the Swanage text, on move into, no, not so much move into, on mouse click, yeah, make it draggable, so by going to Get the right one. It must be a multimedia event. Is, yeah, so a multimedia event, a drag and drop event. So when you mouse click, it makes the object drag and drop, and the object that you want to drag and drop is Swanage text. So we're first of all making Swanage text drag and droppable by doing exactly like that. At the same time, when we're here, you may want to go when you move into it. To show it's drag and droppable, change the cursor. So set the cursor to be a hand, so it looks like you know that there is something different on that. And when you perhaps move out of it, then you would reset the cursor back to becoming a. Let's cancel that for a sec. When you move out, we don't want that. We've gone wrong on that. We want to uh, set the cursor back to becoming the pointer. Okay. So let's prove that works first of all. If we close that and test it, and it's always a good skill in Mediator whenever you do something to actually test it that it works. If I run this page, okay, I can now move into the text box for Swanage, and hopefully when it appears, you can click on that, nothing happens, nothing happens. Hey, it changes into a pointer, and I can pick it up. I should be able to pick the, um, was it the, which one was it? It's not because oh, it has, yes, it has. It's become drag and droppable. Well, it's not, it's become draggable, but it's clearly not been able to drop yet. Okay, so the next thing to do is make, make when I drop it on something, when I, when I put it onto the correct thing, that it becomes droppable. Okay, so or when I then click on it again or remove the clicking on it, it actually makes it droppable. So let's do that bit for the next bit. Okay, so we've made it. The events for Swanage so far are that it is draggable. We now want to see when the mouse comes up, or the mouse, ah, we should, we should, instead of doing mouse click, we'd have been better having mouse down, making it drag and drop, yeah. So if we remove that, yeah, that looks like better. And then so when the mouse up, it becomes drag and drop as well, and that will be drop this time. So we come onto that, we want to simply drop the object. Let's OK that and prove that that way it works. So I think we've now made the cursor change. Mouse down, drag and drop, mouse up, drop. Close that. Let's test that event. And hopefully, rather than clicking, it works better this time. OK, so click on there. No happens, nothing happens, nothing happens, nothing happens anywhere. Except when you come into Swanage, turn it into a hand, hold the mouse down. It's draggable. Yeah. And when I drop it, it will just land. OK. So I need to do the same for all the other, for the other two text boxes. There's a quick way to do that. Okay, you've got the events for Swanage. Yeah, so if I click on the events for Swanage, you can see that you've got these four events. If you're clever, you can copy all four of them. Yeah, copy that. Then go into the events for the Corf Castle text and paste those in. Go into the Dirtle Door text pass paste those in obviously the one thing that you want to change is where on the drag and drop box instead of it being the swanish tox text it needs to be the dirtle door text yeah so we okay that for the corf castle text the drag and drop needs to be the corf castle text so now all three objects should now be drag and droppable test it in practice each time you do something practice that it works test that it works okay so now we should have all three text boxes move into um, for some reason it's not run that page properly let's okay that
No, it's not liking it. It's not liking it. So we'll save that. And I think we'll abandon doing the recording so we can try and sort out what's gone wrong with that. But the idea of it is that um, you first first thing you do is make all the events drag and droppable. So I'll stop me recording and we'll see how we've gone on with that. So that's five minutes, my word, that's far too much to do.